All right, all right, all right. It's Brian here from Let's Magic. We're gathering, and it's time to do a giveaway. Uh, so we've got our nine commentors from the previous video. Um, I think the last one was the uh, Neon Dynasty um, set booster uh, pack opening. Uh, that was kind of broke down into three segments, I believe. Uh, it's been a minute since I was able to put the video. I think about a week. Man, not a week, maybe about four or five days behind where I wanted to be. I don't remember, but I'm not, I had a lot of stuff going on, so I didn't get a chance to put this out. So this is the giveaway for that last video. So I have nine commenters. We do have a new person on here, Jim May. It's the first time I've seen that comment name on a comment. So unless they change their name in, um, on YouTube, which is possible too. But nonetheless, there is a new name on there. So um, I am going to just do the randomized three times and uh, instead of doing this spot like i had done the prep pass i'm going to jump back into the names and mix the names up again but for this time around i did a kind of a mix and match some um, for the previous giveaways that weren't picked we got rage forger uh reaping the graves and then uh the um store championship game day um cards uh demon of catastrophes and radiant flames so those are your options uh pick one of those four whoever the winner is and i will get that sent out to you uh uh, when I get a chance, like I said, I've been busy, and I know every video I probably tell everybody I'm going to get it all sent out to you, and I just haven't done it. It's just, don't worry. They will be there, I promise. Hopefully, everybody's waiting on them. Uh, it is what it is, but they will get there, um, so don't worry about that. Uh, without further ado, since I'm jibber-jabbering a lot, let's go ahead and do the randomize. Three times, and whoever's on this spot right here will be the winner. All right, let's do the first one. We've got one. We've got two. And who is going to be our winner for this giveaway? It is dun, 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 dun. Jim May. Oh man, the first guy, first uh, first time he's commented. Man, it's, uh, sometimes it just happens that way. You just randomize uh, your names on there, and there you go. Uh, so it works out for Jim. Uh, I do not have your address unless, like I said, you've changed your name. Um, but uh, I do want to make sure that you are a, um, a subscriber. So I'm going to jump on there. If you if I do not see you, I will email you, or we'll have to just reach communicate through YouTube. And I'll need you to uh, make it more um, public if you are a subscriber. Because I want to make sure you're subscribed before I start giving stuff away to people that aren't subscribers. Uh, so without further ado, well, let's go ahead and get into um, some pack cracking. Hey, uh, all right. Let's get into cracking these packs. All right. So it's hard for me to pass up Jumpstart when I see it at the store. Especially when I can get um, the four-pack uh, bundle. A little, I guess it's the draft booster pack. for Four, four packs and it's for like 20 bucks. So it's $5 a pack. Pretty good deal, I think. I think they're still going for about that, a little bit higher than that. Um, they had some, uh, like, sort of repacked um, Strixhaven uh, Japanese set boosters uh, there that come with some promo cards. Uh, I think it was like 12 bucks. It seems a little high, but you can get some pretty decent stuff out of there. And I really didn't want to just buy one. I want the box, but they're hard to come by right now uh, since those uh, neon foil ones that you can get at, come out of here uh, <laughs> i'd like to hit one that'd be great um so let's just start off with strixhaven jump start and then hit that last how's that sound okay get some packs cracked and comment on the video just like always and hopefully get a decent amount of commenters for the next week video and do another drawing and uh, for a giveaway good times good times All right, so I'm just gonna kind of shuffle through these packs because they are um, in Japanese and I can't read that. So that does that does put a dampener on and know what the cards are. Most of the ones I know what the pictures are, so I can kind of tell. So that's not too bad. All right, so we've got an art series card there. I'm not sure what that one is, but um, it's okay, not a big deal. If I can, if I see uh, a, a decent card. That one's not bad. It's a two-drop uh, uncommon. Those are usually the higher-end ones, but I don't know if that's one of them or not. Not, not. I don't think any of these single-drop or these commons were. I uh, don't know who this guy is, but it's your rare card. That's the rare one for Strixhaven. It's a black card in color. Uh, I would look for it, but I'm always time looking for it, so I don't know if it's worth a whole lot, but still, nonetheless. And pulled a rare. Japanese uh, alternate or um, you get one of these in each pack. Uh, so this is the basic one, non-foil, but this one's a rare. I don't know what that one is, but I feel like that one might be what's his name, Urza's Rage, maybe just because it looks like Urza. So I think that's maybe him. And then our foil is 
regular foil, nothing exciting, and a token. So we didn't get a set booster, which is fine. You'll have to get a set booster in these. <clears throat> or a list card, I said it. Booster. We didn't get a list card, but you don't have to. It's nice if you do, but you don't have to. And I guess we'll just throw all these here with that. Separate the foil. All right, moving. Move a little faster. I know this video is already probably like four minutes deep, but <laughs> open anything. All right, art card is going to be that beauty. Still don't know what it is. And check through, hit check through, check through. Uh, nothing so far. Looks promising in the commons. Uncommon, nope. There's our rare. That's the rare for that pack. And then we're in a mystical archive, non Japanese. That one looks like duress. I've already got that a few times. And our foil is Tend the Pests, maybe? Or. Uh, uh, I can't remember if that's the one or not. But. And then we got a filler card. So we got Mr. Clark Kive there. I like getting the Japanese ones. That's always nice to pull those if you can get them. We got a list back here. I don't think there's a flip set in here that decoys it, but the, pat, the back card there is a regular backing oops threw it there's another one that one looks like urza's rage maybe from the mystical archive set we got a foil land all right we'll take an extra foil there and eh, maybe only one i don't know if we get two even if you get one on the front side land so we got uncommon that one might be oh, we got two uh uncommon um single drop or two drop multicolor card so i know this one is a pretty popular if you go to fracturing something or fractured i forget and then this one's another one but those are decent ones i just can't remember what they are and then here is our rare for the set or for the pack and what do we get back here Ooh, we got another rare uh japanese alternate art and that one is that guy so that's the four drop don't know what it is but that's the one i pulled Pretty cool. I like getting the rare ones because they tend to be worth a little bit more, so that's a good pickup right there. And we got a foil. That one's Expressive Iteration. Uncommon, maybe? That one might be worth something. I kind of want to look that up real quick. Give me just a second. Nope, I lied. It was Maelstrom Muse. Similar color combination. Uh, I just don't remember if it's a three drop or a two drop for Expressive Iteration, but it's a good one. So here is our list card. And that one is going to be Storybrook Banneret. Good old Merfolk Wizard. So nothing exciting on that one. But hey, you know, we got some good cards. I think we got a couple of good Japanese ones. Last pack for the Strixhaven set boosters in Japanese. Throw that off to the side. And we got that art card. I don't know what it is. It's okay. You don't have to know what they all are. <laughs> mm, all right. Uh, nope, nope, that one might be something. Uh, don't know, don't know. Ooh, we got Mythic Rare. Ooh, Wither Bloom. Uh, what is that? That the Wither Bloom. I believe, I believe that's the Wither Bloom one. If I'm correctly, if I'm correct, Mythic Rare. So that's a. Uh, God, I can't. I don't know why I can't think of the rest of it. But I know the word Wither Bloom's in it, but I forget what the rest of the card is. So that's a good hit right there. And we got a rare back here. Another rare, so we got a mythic and a rare in this pack. I don't remember what that one is either. And then we've got our Japanese version. We've got, I believe that's not cult. It might be cultivate. I can't remember if that's cultivate or not, but that's one of them. And then we've got our foily back here, uncommon. All right, and there you have it. And I got another elemental card token back there. So there is what we pulled from the Strixhaven sets. Let me clear up the table here and jump in, jump into the jump start. <laughs> All right. All right, so here we go. Maybe we can pull out some pretty sweet stuff out of these j jump starts. Uh, so Belladris Witherbloom Bloom was that one I was talking about. It was a $12 card, so not too bad for getting a Mythic Rat that pack. And everything else was kind of just eh, so-so. Nothing super awesome, but it was still pretty cool. Still pretty cool stuff to pull, and I think I need some of that stuff in my collection, the Japanese art ones, a couple of them I did at least. Oh no, not dogs. Ugh. 
I don't remember if Dogs is the same exact pack as it always is, because I opened it at least twice now, maybe three times. I can't remember if all the cards are exactly the same. You end up getting Pack Leader and some other stuff, but nothing nothing really worth your while. Alright, let's see about this one. Legion? Oof, too white. Mm, not a good start. Not a good start. Ooh, spooky. That's a new one. I don't know what's in that. So, I don't normally put these together and play a quick 40-card deck. Um, and I've done that with my nephews and a few other people, but um, we usually just keep them sleeved and then swap out the sleeves and pick different colors and match, mix and match. So we've done it a few times. Not all the time. But not, not a lot, but we've done it a few times. It's not too bad. Quick games. And Teferi. All right, I think that's the first one I've got Teferi on, so that's pretty cool. That's a good pickup because that should be a Planeswalker in there. Let's start. Let's just go in this order. Well, yeah, let's just go in this order. It doesn't really matter to see what is in these. Like I said, I've opened some of these before, so I have already know what I've seen in some of these. I just can't remember if they're all exactly the same or if there's a couple versions of the Dogs one. I think there is. I just don't think it's, it doesn't alter too much, to be honest. All right, so or we got Pack Leader. Like I said, Selfless Savior's a decent card. At least the Dogs, Secure the Scene. Really nothing exciting in this. You get your Thriving Heath. Those cards are pretty useful and then you get your uh, planes that's the one actually that's the planes that's worth like a buck and a half I believe from Jumpstart that's like one of the ones that's actually worth something decent for being a land basic land alright so that was what I expected got the got the good land so that's a plus I know I've opened legions before but I can't remember what else what all comes in it if it's altered a little bit Blessed Sanctuary, that's a good rare card. Back to Selfless Savior, seems like it's pretty... Path to Exile, hey! That's the first time I've seen that one. That's a pretty good pickup, Path to Exile in there. So maybe I haven't opened this one, or if I have, which I think I have, it's just not this version. It's the first time I've gotten Path to Exile, so I'll take it. There's the alarm. Not too shabby, so... Uh, Blessed Sanctuary, I'm not sure what that one's going for, but Path to Exile is a pretty good pickup. Boom! Not too shabby. Alright, this spooky one. Let's see what this has to offer. Curious. Very curious. So, unless I get something really good, I don't think I'm going to make my $20 back on this. <laughs> Alright, what we got? Ogre Slumlord. He's a, he's a good card. I've got a few of those, but he's not anything uh, out of the ordinary great. But he goes well. On, dang, that just went out of focus. Bad, quick, and nasty. He goes real good in my rat deck, being able to use him for that ability. Uh, whenever another, another non-token creature dies, you may create a 1-1 black rat creature token. So that's pretty useful. Uh, rat, you control death touch. And another rare, we've got Languish. So that's a good one. Pretty sure Languish is a good one. I don't know why I think it is, but I don't know if it's worth a whole lot. But all creatures get minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, so it's a board wiper. Then we got Malefist Scythe. Bone Picker used to be classic. Eternal Taskmaster, Gristle Grinner, Liliana's Devotee. And then closing it out with your Thriving More and your Swamp. So that's not bad. There's some pretty good stuff in there. To check on the value of those. Pretty decent. And see what comes with this Teferi. Uh, it, it should. Most of these ones that are um, Planeswalker based comes with a Planeswalker from the set. So I should be expected to get Teferi Planeswalker. I don't know if they put in an alternate version or showcase in here just for, for its and giggles, shits and giggles, or if it's just a regular one. And it's a regular one, but there we go. There's Teferi, Master of Time. Can't argue with that. That's always a good pickup. Did we get another rare in there with it? We did. He got Aegis Insight. Exclude. Uh, Tarlan's Invocation. Op to Tetledge. So a lot of good stuff from 21. Thriving Isle. Teferi's Protégé. Ooh, we got a good island card. So sometimes those will show up. You'll get one of those in there every now and then, and you won't get a jump start card. So sometimes they'll throw it in there. So there we go. There you have it. There is um, the jump start packs. Decent stuff. Some new stuff that I've not opened yet, but I don't know. It was all that wild. Uh, I'll check the value of these things, and hopefully I come out on top. All right, let's move right along to the Kamigawa. Yep. So what we're looking to find, hopefully, is one of these 
Hedetseku, Hedetseku, I forget how to pronounce this stinking car's name, but they got blue, green, or blue, yellow, red, and maybe green, or I'm not sure what, what five or four colors they have. It's a specific card that's only available in booster packs, at least what I was told, or at least is what I read. And if you hit it, it's a pretty valuable card. The red one is, at least. The other ones are in the hundreds, I think. One of them might be under 100, but nonetheless, 100 is pretty stinking great. If you ask me for a card. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh man, Moon Snare Prototype. Network Terminal. Web Spinner Cuff. Blade. Blizzard Kitsune. Tales of Master Sh Sh Shiro. Flippy Flip. Uh, that is a common. It's really curved. A nice Japanese full art foil. Those are always beautiful. A common. Wow. Went to a common. Didn't go right into a, a rare or commander card. Rip. Common showcase. Uncommon foil showcase. A sorry captain. I feel like this is not going to be that great. Or like all these commons and uncommons are ready. Do they pack this backwards? Am I getting trash? Oh man. Bum card. Holy crap. I remember I opened once before, but I don't remember getting uncommons and commons all the way back. That sucks. There's better be some good ones coming up. Light Paul's Emperor's Voice. I think that's a good one. I feel like somebody's talked about Light Paul's somewhere. I'll have to double check it. It might be worth something, but I could be wrong. Another rare. We've got Myojin Cryptic. Dreams, that is the commander version. To the rare, we got Mech. <laughs> what? Mech, Mech Titan Core. Not sure if I've seen that one yet. The Mech Titan Core, two drop exile Mech Titan Core for the artifact creatures. Inner vehicles you control create a Mech Titan legendary 10 10 construct artifact creature token with flying. Vigilance, trample, and lifelink haste. That's all colors. When that token leaves the battlefield, return all cards exiled with Mech Titan Core except Mech Titan Core to the battlefield tapped under its own control. Well, that's pretty cool. So you can exile four other artifact creatures and or vehicles you control. Create a mech to... Oh, wow. That seems kind of... I mean, not broken. It, you can crew it and swing for a four or two, right? But you just pay five, exile it. And then when that token leaves the battlefield, return everything. That's actually really pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I like that card. I like it a lot. We've got... Greasefang Okiba Boss. Showcase rare Grease Fang. And then we got another foil back here, and it is March of the Burgeoning Life. Don't know what that one is. That's a foil. It's an additional cost to cast a spell. You may any number of green cards from your hand. This spell costs two less to cast. And that's it, folks. Double sided spirit and samurai. I don't know if I got anything extremely awesome in there. That light pause looks pretty good. That mech titan, I like that. It seems super busted, kind of. I mean, exile this one and four other artifact creatures and creatures and or vehicles you control. So you have to have a heavy artifact creature deck or vehicles deck, obviously, to make this happen. And then you create a mech titan, 10-10, construct artifact creature token flying, gains vigilance, tripe on life like, and it's all colors. So you'd have to keep it alive or find a way to give it haste, I would think, because it's coming on the battlefield. So it should be sick. But a 10-10 flying lifelink and trample, that's just stupid right off. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Maybe it's not that great, but it still seems pretty awesome. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, hopefully the video didn't go too long. And get those comments in and share. Uh, hit the like button, all the cool stuff. And I guess we'll catch you in the next video. Deuces. <laughs>